hi, uh, welcome to the next time I woke up to uh, Today I'm going to check, take you to um, uh, how to, I'm going to show you how to perform some um, mathematical operations uh, using SQL or whatever. Uh, so basically, uh, again, so I've already, I'm going to be using the OE schema. And the OE schema is a, um, is a simple schema that you can find in, um, in, um, in, uh, Oracle uh, software. Um, you have to uh, basically just install those along with the, with, with your um, do, doing your um, your installation. So basically, the database that I'll be using again is 12C. As you can see, 12C um, version one. And my this is my first home. This is gonna be home one. So I'm gonna log into uh, the OE uh, account. So basically what I do now is um, I'm going to look at my table structure so I can query um, my, um, my raw data. So I'm going to describe user underscore tables. And then to run your query you have to just uh, um, click um, run, um, um, each basically it's control and enter to run your query. Um, uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want to basically just score my little update to pressing that button. So basically, this is my uh, table structure. Tra uh, table structure. So, what I'll do is, I am going to. Actually, you know, um, I am going to. Let me do this. So basically, I just quoted. I just want to look at the structure of my tables. So now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the select table name, uh, table name from user underscore tables. So this is my um this is my these are the tables that I have. So what I'll do is I, again I'm gonna be performing a um an, I'm gonna I need I need I need a a a column where I can get some some you know some numbers and not not characters. So what I'll do is I need to find I need to find um which which uh table has Columns with number num numeric um, data types. So describe. Let me try orders. Okay, so this looks pretty good. So what I'll do now is, since I have this, what I'll do is, I'm gonna run select star from orders. So basically, this is what I have in my in my um, in my order table. So I have order ID, order date, order mode. Basically, these are all numeric values. So let's say that I wanted to. Let's say if I wanted to um, basically just uh, do some multiplication, do some division, addition, or subtractions on my column. Then basically, this is how you go about doing it. So I'm gonna move the from to the bottom. So I can have enough space here at the top to do my to my equation. So uh, let's say I want to uh, switch the order ID, more multiply order ID by two. So I would write order underscore ID. Uh, the star is a multiplication sign times two. And then let's say I want to go for order date. And let's say I wanted to add. Uh, 100 to the order total, so that would be order underscore total plus 100. So this is how I would basically just run a, a mathematical equation 
Uh, you can see quarterback for stuff. Let me try it out. So pretty much, uh, if you can, let me do this. I'm going to open up. There you go. Open up two windows. Uh, I would do this. I'm going to copy this. So basically, this is going to be a window for my, for, for basically for my for uh, where I plan the, the uh, where I have my uh, the results for my equations. And this window is going to be where I am going to have my original values. So again, so look what I look at what I did. So these are the original values. Um, so I selected uh, my order ID in this window, and I multiplied it by two. So basically, so if the uh, the the before value was twenty four fifty eight. And after the multiplication, obviously it's, it went up to 49.16. And uh, the same thing for this column. If you look at the previous value, that was uh, 78.279. And the new value is 78.379. Uh, uh, so basically that's how, that's that's the basically how to apply a notification to your, um, to the values, uh, to, the, to the data, to the, uh, uh, to the uh, row data. Uh, you know, to um, let's say you wanted to, you know, you know, you have to, you have to perform a, uh, a some sort of calculation. This is how you go about doing that. So, um, let's say also, so I'm gonna delete this. Let's say I wanted to, uh, again, I need to review my, my, my original values. Let's say I wanted to have a complex uh, calculation. Let's say I wanted to do select um, let's try order ID no um, custom ID and select customer underscore ID and let's say I wanted to do basically to use multiple um, to basically use use multiple uh, um, Equate uh, uh, operators, you know, pluses and minuses and multiplication, uh, more than just one. So let's say if I wanted to do this, plus uh, five, and then I wanted to multiply it by seven. Let's just take that for example. So if I was to run this, if I was to run this query, uh, let me just make sure I put some orders. If I was to run this query, I would basically the way that uh, SQL SQL rep uh, recognizes um, equations. Uh, basically, it's gonna first calculate uh, the um, multiplications and division. Basically, that's the case also in real life. Um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be the first calculation that's performed, and then the value is gonna be added to my customer ID. So let me try this out. So this is 136. Let me just make sure. Uh, again, so this is my this original customer ID that I have. So it's 101. So let me just make let me just see what happens. So what it did is it obviously multiplied uh, the seven times five and gave me 35, and that's how you have the 136 because the original original value is 101. So pretty much this is what uh, the SQL ah the benefit does. But if you wanted to um, basically have it. Um, do do something else. Let's say you're not satisfied with uh, this value. You want it to uh, basically just reorder uh, the, the way that um, the, the calculations uh, take place. Um, okay. Uh, you would basically use parentheses, and you would put a parentheses between um, between the. Um, um, to, to basically just closing the, the equation that you that you want to have um, that you want to have performed first. So again, I just I enclose uh, customer ID plus five um, into 
Iski inside of Pratlock So this is going to be 101 plus 5. And then again, 101 plus 5, 106, and he's going to be multiplied by 7. So let me try this out. So this gives you a new value 742. So you went from 136 to 742. So basically, this is how you can just uh, uh, have the um, basically just uh, uh, give it up, give tell the SQL developer to uh, basically just not not uh, perform a conventional, uh, you know, um, not not follow a conventional uh, calculation path, but to just basically do do you know exactly what you want to want to have it uh, want to have done. Uh, you can just put the parentheses around your um, around your um, around that, that specific uh, calculation so basically let's say if I wanted to if you look at if you look at the order ID so let's say I have order IDs from 46 and then I want to query two columns uh, let's say I want to query um, order ID and order uh, mode and then uh, order total so but basically, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to perform any, uh, any more calculations. What I'll do is I just want to be able to display, um, you know, that this um, uh, is associated with this and this, and it's also associated with this order total. So what I will do is, let me clean, let me just clear my window. I would write, select order ID, order underscore ID. And then in terms of basically just uh, having this uh, having a string for uh, for um, the, the different cards, so creating a string for basically just just for the display purposes of your result sets. What you can do is you can use a uh, what's known as a concatenation um, um, operator. So basically, it's just it's double pike. So it's going to be select order ID. And then what I what you can put in in, in after the after the order uh, uh, the uh, the order ID is you want to just tie the order ID to the order mode so you would put in select order ID uh, belongs to and then you can basically just uh, close the string and again so everything inside your string is gonna it's gonna be um, it's gonna be basically um, it's gonna be Part of the the results. So if you put space uh, in your in your in your string, then it's going to be spaced in your results. So you can again go back and forth. But so what I'll do is I'm going to put space again for um, just to make it um, clear. So I'm going to double pipe again, and then I'm going to put in order mode, and then order mode is going to be direct. Okay, and then the last one that I need is the order total. So it's going to be select for the order ID belongs to order mode, and then double pipe again, and then it's going to say order total. Um, so what, what's going to be a, what, what's going to make sense here? So it's order ID belongs to order mode with and order. And total, um, total uh, amount for all total amount for orders is, and what I will do is double pipe again, and then so the last column that I need is my order total. So it's going to so basically it's going to read out. Uh, basically select. Let me make sure I put it in there first before I forget. Order underscore total from orders. So basically, the read the the, the readout is gonna be um, the order select. It's gonna select okay twenty four fifty six belongs to belongs to uh, order mode belongs to. Order mode, order mode, direct, uh, and total amount for orders is basically this order total. So let me 
you run this query and control enter so basically if you look at what I have here 2456 belong to the order uh, more direct order event mode to the order more direct and total amount for orders is 78 to 79 so I can actually make this much clearer so what I'll do is I'll come up here and then so if you see what I don't have enough I don't have any space I will hit the space button that's gonna be that's gonna give me the space that I need and then order mode and then here I'm also gonna put space because I don't have any space here and then okay this should be fine and then I also left I need to put space between is and the actual um, order total I'm gonna hit the space button and let's try it again so basically so now it's much clearer so it actually reads out 2456 belongs to order mode direct and total or total amount for orders is 78279.6 so basically that's just how this is just a uh, how you can use SQL Viper to perform uh, mathematical operations um, again you can it's not just uh, again you can use um, you can use you rely on on on, on the double pipes concatenation um, operator uh, to basically uh, make um, make sense of your of your result set and also you can play around with the parent with the you know the space between your string in between your strings to you know make it make the reading uh, clear and also you can use the um, you can also use the space at the uh, parent as I, as I showed you earlier to basically um, influence the uh, the uh, the uh, resource work calculations um, this is just again this is just you know uh, um, how this SQL, SQL record can be used to uh, you know do math work um, uh, um, you know on your behalf um, thank you so much for watching I hope to see you guys next time